welcome to my channel I thought we'd make this it's the silhouette kit from Paper Life by Lynn put a tag in there tag in there such a beautiful kit and then it's got tuck in there so this is the silhouette so how I got this together is I'll just bring everything out I prepped beforehand because I thought oh I don't want to be uh, taking up too much of your time this is all I used a paper baggie now what I did I inked the edge as well and like even in here ink it well because this is going to give you a double pocket basically so I inked it well these baggies are ideal they're just little um, lolly bags really I think I got them from eBay for a dollar so what I did I ripped up some paper from the silhouette kit that's the silhouette kit um, that's not all of it it's some of it so I've already looked into it because I'm using it to, to do the attache. But I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial using the baggie. Because it was really, really good. I, it's really good. So I basically already cut the papers to side. And as you can see, they're pretty rough. I just used my ruler. And, and basically to use your ruler to whip paper is let me get a scrap it's basically and there you go that's ripped so that's all you do so anyway I've prepped it I've inked it now it's putting it together I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'm a little favour of bags for journals. Uh, I just think they make them look outstanding because they're just huge pockets. They really are. So. I cut the piece for there, which I already made up. And I've got the other piece made up for the top. Look, you can use a glue stick for this. To make it quicker, I just used um, fabric glue, which sticks down quicker. Just a simple, simple technique, really. I want to be able to see my baggie still. So I basically did that. And now that's stuck. I can stick my pocket down. So make sure when you cut your paper that you've got enough that's going to cover those parts. Now I didn't sew this, you can, I just didn't, not for this. Now, what did I want? Now, I don't know, I've used this um, 
stamp and I've stamped it on broadcloth. We call it broadcloth here. And normally I sew around it because it actually um, starts to fray and I like the fray look. So normally I would sew around it and I'll show you when I show you the tag I made for it. I'm a sewer of everything. Don't over flood the material with cloth. I mean, the cloth. Look, it can cope. You can't see any seepage. You just don't want it to be seepaging through your um, beautiful um, decoupage you've done. Oh, not decoupage. Ugh. It's too early in the morning. That's what's wrong with your layers. So. I made that for there and what I did for this because I didn't want to spoil it um, at all I basically got um, my stamp this stamp's a beauty that's one of those stamps and I stamped it here. So now it looks like you got a coffee tea stain stamp. Just want to see what I've done there. Oh, I had a piece of fabric that's gone AWOL. <laughs> How many times does that happen to you, you know? Um, you get things prepped so you don't time waste on YouTube and then you lose it. Not a problem. I can cut another piece. Fabric is my to go um, for everything. Maybe I won't use fabric for that bit. Actually, I might just use a bit of this. I still need the fabric. I cut up doilies and look, I use them a lot. Because that's there, I'm not going to put it on that side. I'm going to put it on this side. It just adds a little bit more to the kit. And then the botanicals. And I'm going to put that in here. And there's your envelope done. Now you can sew down the sides, but I'm not doing that because I think it looks much better, the grungy look. Now we're going to do our card. And so this is the tag I made. And again, you'll see I've sewn around the scarf because that's going to all peel away and it's going to look really nice and grungy. I've added some of that nice uh, lace and I layered two lots of paper. I zigzagged around the back and there you can see where I sewed the scarab. Now, with the... Um, and there's another tag that goes with the kit. Like I said, it's a beautiful kit and well worth making up. Like, see how I use the fabric there? There's my tag there. And there's another tag that fell to the floor. Oh, it's not a tag, it's just a card. So I believe that's an interesting um, pocket for your journal page. And like I said, you can make those tags as big or as little as you want. My pages are generally really big pages, so I make them bigger. So because your, your envelope's got lots of room, you can layer that there and you can pull the 
this out so you can actually show your scalp depending how long your pages are I just think that's gorgeous okie dokie let's get this is the tag and with my tag what I did I used my line stamp just out the back I this is walnut stain now these um, this cardstock which is actually fold folder I um, painted them with a paint wash so I give them a really really good um, really good ink I love this kit. I love the silhouette. I've not worked with it before and I've been really itching to work with it. So I'm grateful that I am working with it. Um, so what I do, I get my glue stick and normally I need my pet. So I don't get glue all over my table. For doing these tags and that, your glue stick's your best friend. Honestly, it is. Um, it sticks down perfectly, especially this glue. And you can see where you glued and everything too, so that makes it even better. I want to see a bit of my cardstock. So I don't want to hide my cardstock completely. There. Like I said, it sticks beautifully. This is an old music page. Sometimes it's good to go with light. And then dark but with this one I actually decided to go the lighter I mean the darker music paper normally I would have went with the light because of the silhouette but I really liked the first tag I made so I kept it simple so now um, Gee was I had everything ready and it's gone. So trim your access edges. Oh dear. Yeah, I um, haven't been too well, so I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so excuse me if it's not my best one. I'll just glue the um, fabric straight on there, because it's going to be uh, sewn up by the sewing machine, so I just wonder where my pictures have gone. Excuse me a minute. Oh gosh, I've had them sewn and everything. <laughs> One of those days. Don't you hate that? Oh, here they are. Here they are. So I've already sewn a piece of tag on that. Now I didn't want to sew um, 
um, I didn't, sorry, I didn't want to ink the edges too much on that um, tag because I like it the way it is. And if you want to, you can raise it up a bit or leave it down or put that one up a bit. It's up to you. And this is just showing you how much things you can actually fit into it. Now, where's the... That's another thing I lost. I lost the one that's going to go on here. I'm going to change... I'm going to have to use this one. No, it's too small. I had a really nice one to go there. I oh, well, this one will do the job. So, with this one, I'll use the glue stick. I mean, I'll use the um, fabric tack since I'm not sewing around it. And as you can see, your tag's taking shape. Now, I want to move that away because. I've got a beautiful print there and I might just lightly that's ready to be sewn now I lost the smaller tag oh, I'm not having any luck Now, just to put something there to break up that page, I'm going to find something from here. Yes, um, it's been one of those days where um, I wanted to achieve a bit, but I didn't achieve as much as I wanted to. Now I'll ink that well. Now I've already sewn around the um, the tag. I just haven't with the other one. There. I've just basically broken it up. Now. I love this. I use these mm -hmm. um, quite a bit, so I'm going to put that down. Um, and these are from Tracy Fox, these kits, and it's Love Junk Journals. I just love her kits, and I try to play with as many as I can. So I am going to put that this way. Now when I get offline I'll actually um, sew that and I'll put ribbon on both those things. And they go so nice in a journal. Like this is only a smaller journal here. So this is only a small journal. 
but it's very short, but I can just show you how it would look in a journal. This is my journal of ideas. This is where I put all my ideas into um, when I come up with an idea. I'm not saying no one's done this before. They could probably have. This is a short journal. But you can cut the baggies down to size. But if it was a bigger journal, which I've got plenty around me, and I don't know what they all are. But you can see the potential of that journal page. So you've created a pocket there. You've got a pocket there and a pocket behind. And if you want to, you can glue all down there and down there. And you in effect effectively got a pocket there. So I hope that's um, made a difference to you. And not, I said, you know, I basically um, do my um, say in femra before I actually start a journal. But I, I know the size of my journal, so I know that these are going to fit. So basically, that needs sewing, and that's done. And um, they can then be stuck on the journal that I've prepped them for. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.